The lab report is absolutely clear. The DNA doesn't match Ms. Haywood. Your Honor, I move to vacate the conviction of Mr. Peeler and to set aside the sentence immediately. The people oppose that motion. These results don't exonerate the defendant, but at best raise doubt. That's absurd, Your Honor. Judge, the DNA could be from a second unidentified subject acting in concert with the defendant. There's no second subject. Regardless, there's independently sufficient evidence to sustain the conviction. I've read the file, Ms. Haywood. The people had a weak circumstantial case at best, and that was before the 440 motion. The assistant who prosecuted this case left my office, Judge. I'd like to conduct my own investigation into this matter. That will entail reviewing the autopsy and crime scene reports. Your Honor, Mr. Peeler's been in jail 18 years. I understand. And unless the people can establish why the defendant shouldn't be free, he will be. I hear the motion on Friday morning. Your Honor, I need more than three days. We are going to resolve this matter before the week is out. Your Honor, I move that bail be set. Mr. Peeler has priors. He's a flight risk. Motion to grant bail is denied. We will reconvene Friday morning. Give it a date, Johnny.